Hi guys, uh, as promised I'm going to be shooting a couple uh, guns today and uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be shooting my um, ASG uh, Dan Wesson gold plated pistol. As promised, uh, it's been a while. I finally have a camera for outside so uh, let's just get right into it. I brought the box, I brought a couple of boxes of ammo and I brought the fuel source. Um, as you know, in my handy dandy bag uh, in the past I've talked about this gun, I praised it for its ammo conservation and today you're going to see exactly what that's all about. So, this of course is the gun and as I've shown you in the video, you merely slide this back and I'm going to show you how to put, the, put it in and show you what happens when we fire this gun. So, I'm going to slide it back just a tiny bit. There we go. It's being a little fickle for me. It's definitely been a bit since I've fired this one. Considering, remember, you need to remember, it shoots about 425 feet per second, so indoors would not be allowed to play with this gun. So, we open this up. We reach over in the handy-dandy grenade launcher shell pouch uh, that I had over here. And, of course, I recommend .20 grain. Take the gun, as so. Place it in the revolver and it's loaded now it could be single action and it can also be um, double action double action meaning that you pull the trigger merely and it fires single action of course is like so and as you can tell it's very loud uh, most likely the video is not going to really do it justice as loud as this thing is but um, I'm just going to give you a, you know, just a, you know, possibly a rough guesstimate. It is definitely scary. A lot of my friends that I was uh, showing it to at the airsoft arena, um, I was showing them how it fired and how it sounded. And uh, <laughs> I'd fired occasionally during their games, and uh, they'd be like, what the crap was that? And, you know, um, they'd be like, oh, it must have been his revolver. So, you know, um, there's one interesting thing to remember about this gun. Occasionally, um, the... Uh, for some reason, there we go, the speed loader will get a little jammed to the side. Like I uh, mentioned, it is a little large and there's not a lot of room for error, so probably single loading the shells would probably be your best bet, but um, I, I've been able to get the speed loader to work by simply pressing the, the ejector rod into the button switch and then firing it like so. And like I said, six round shot and it's empty. Um, a lot of people say that that's not really realistic or very practical, but then again, they probably never fired a, a revolver of any kind. Um, and I, I tell you, like, uh, I prefer revolvers most of the time. Uh, there's nothing wrong with a mag-fed pistol, in my opinion, but they lack the options to fire multiple rounds like a revolver does. Um, my The revolver that I do own, personally, um, actually works a lot like that. So, it's actually very interesting to see these sort of things. Uh, but I, I often well. like this quite a bit, but uh, the gun works fairly well, and I, I enjoy it quite a bit. So we're going to fire off a couple more rounds. Mind you, the gun uh, is fairly um, accurate, of course, um, considering that it's got a very, very short barrel, only to about here. The little guide back here is just to make sure that it has an even seal, and so that most of the gas doesn't escape out the side, making it impossible to really aim or um, get distance. So it does have some distance. It's not the most accurate pistol on the planet, but when you're firing it, it's most likely going to be used for close range anyway. It's not going to match up to the AEGs or the sniper rifles of the game of that sort. But I can say that the gun does work quite well. Um, I'm happy with it, and we'll just fire off this last bit. Uh, like I said before, um, with the amount of shells and speed loaders that I do have, I could not possibly use up the entire CO2 pouch. Um, but, of course, then you want something like that to where you can just set it down, reload your bullets, and uh, play again. So, like I said, uh, the gun, of course, is a five star for me because it's well worth the money. The shells make it a little more realistic, so reenactors or people wanting to do like a cop drama or something like that, this would be perfect. So, um, guys, uh, thanks for stopping by. Um, Thanks for uh, hanging out with me, and um, thank you for subscribing, and uh, holy crap, um, just have a nice day. Thank you very much.